What's going on guys and welcome back to some more This Is How To Beat Majora's Mask. This will be the last of the videos of this series we'll do for a while because I'm working on a classic duds, but um... I will basic, but that's aside the point. In this part, I will basically teach you how to get through the rest of Woodfall. Now that we have the bow and arrow, we have more stray fairies we can get. You don't have to do this. Oh, it's the dawn second day. You don't really have to do this if you're not doing a completionist run. But even if you're not doing a completionist run, I would strongly recommend doing this anyway. There's another one we couldn't. We can't. Any stray fairies just in the temple that was in bubbles, we couldn't get without that without the bow. There's one more in this room, and I actually know where it is. Anyway, we want to shoot this uh this uh thing fire. We want to time the shot right. And it'll actually get rid of the poison water and uh replace it with normal water. So now we can enter it as normal link. I don't know why I. I put my bow out right there, but uh, I really should look. I really should look at this footage, but like, um, so we're, what we're gonna do is that uh, we want to time. And this is another instance we want, it's only for a straight fair, but we, and this is another instance we want to time a shot right. You want to time it so that it goes through the uh, fire, but it goes, it hits that torch. That's a bad shot. <laughs> Tip number two. And that's a mess. Temp number three. I actually don't remember which temp I got this on. Bullseye! Yeah! So we, what we, we also want to get... It's actually not the uh, tour. That's not sure if I never mind. That's actually required. But like, we want that switch that we can only get as... We, can, we need to reach that switch as a Deku, but we can only touch... We can only step on it as normal length. I don't know how light Deku's are, but like, there's another one else. There's another Shirt Fairy present. And in that chest will be a Stray Fairy. We don't have, again, you don't have to get, do it if you're not doing it. But even if you're not doing it, like I've said multiple times, if you're not doing a completionist run, you should at least go for all the Stray Fairies. Well, that's our tenth one. I know where the other ones are. There's a uh, four and one room. There's one we haven't gotten in the. Uh, I think it's this room. Yeah, it's that room right there that we just passed. That has all the remaining stray fairies. And there's one left we haven't gotten in a previous room, which is right here, which we need the bow for. So we went in the wrong room. Yay! But anyway, we don't all. We also don't have the boss key yet. This is actually the first Majora's Mask video I'm using on a different editing software. Previously I used CapCut and now I'm using Sony Vegas. All my prior videos are on CapCut and it's now on uh, Sony Vegas. I'm trying to test that out. I have a new computer so it's basically like, uh, it's basically, what am I trying to say? It's uh, going well. Anyway, that's the last of the Stray Fairies we can get in this run. 11 Stray Fairies. And the remaining four, the remaining four in a, are in a room, but we also need to get the boss key first, which we need to fight a mini boss. And if I remember correctly, I think it's this room that the mini boss is in, but I could be wrong. Oh no, that's uh, that's where the boss is, but we don't have the boss key, so. So yeah, now I know where the, uh, there's two rooms we haven't explored yet in the Woodfall Temple, and, uh, this one is, uh, we want to shoot a bow at that. And it'll allow us to, uh, basically access that, it'll access that other edge we couldn't before, because it'll make that, uh, previous, it'll make that other platform move up and down. Yeah. 
Yeah, that right there, that's the room with the uh, mini boss. Just a fair warning about that mini boss. If you're doing a completionist run, you're gonna have to go in that mini boss room multiple times. I'll point out to each one. I'll point out to each subsequent mini boss we have to face multiple times going to a specific side quest. That's much later on. And anyway, we hit him with a sword a couple of times, and he's gonna. Eventually, he's gonna snap and get a turtle. He's gonna ride on a turtle. What you wanna do is basically turn on the Deku mask. Turn on the Deku mask, and basically, when he uh, basically works the same way as all the other turtles, eventually, you'll knock him off the turtle. And you wanna shoot him with the bow when he climbs on the wall like Spider Man. And, yeah. I believe it's maybe four hits and he's down. Bullseye! Each time you hit him, it'll also leave a uh, arrow upgrade. It'll also leave a bow, so it's uh, increasing your arrow, so that's nice. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna find him so you can target him, so... I started playing the big mess a little bit earlier. I think it's uh, I think it's four hits and he's dead, but it could be, it could be three, it could be five. I don't know. When we have to go here a second time, yeah, it's three hits. When we go here a second time, he can be killed instantly because we'll have more up, we'll have more, we'll have arrow upgrades. And it's a frog. We cannot do the frog side quest just yet. Anyway, that's now we have the uh, now we have the boss keys. The boss keys will always be in treasures like that, just like an offering of time. Anyway, so now we have the boss keys. So now we can actually go in that last room where we couldn't work with uh, the remaining straight fairies. I'm actually going to let the commentary uh, die out. Um, there's going to be a cutscene that plays after we beat the temple. I'll just let the I'll just let the cutscene play in itself and end the video right there. Sorry if it, the video ends anticlimactic, but like, it's a very great Majora's Mask cutscene. I don't really need to add to it. Plus, and there's also a very easy way to kill the boss that I demonstrate. I would say out of all the four bosses in this game, I would say the upcoming boss is probably one of my two favorites. It's probably my actual favorite because the, the my other favorite is one you, have, you do have to fight multiple times for completion of stakes. Where's that straight there? There it is. And, and we already see one in the bubbles in the background, so uh, good thing there's no Nintendo 64 draw distance. So that's that's 13 trick fairies, and the other two, um, I think the other two is uh, the other, two, the other one's in a chest, the other one's in a bubble. So yeah, we, we should get all the trick fairies right now. I'm just gonna kill these uh, enemies right here. You can kill them with bows, you can kill them with arrows, and it's I think it's actually easier to kill them with your snot bubbles. Yeah, there, these, there's the 14th one. We already see the 15th one in the background. So yeah, we're almost. We almost have all the straight fairies. Uh, we're, I'm gonna try, I was gonna try seeing this, if I could lure it over in this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lure it over. Yep. It's the best thing about the great fairies mask. Now we have all the straight fairies, which means in the next part we will take them to the uh, the to the great fairy woman. Or to revive the Great Fairy, because they're... I strongly recommend getting all the Stray Fairies in each temple. I don't care what Aaron Hansen said, like, get all the Stray Fairies. The upgrades are good for first-time players. Anyway, so now we should be fighting the boss, and, uh, the boss is, uh... I don't want to reveal it just yet, but like, 
I will. I do reveal a very easy way to kill this boss. But even if you you could uh you could use your Deku mask, you use arrows, you can use bombs and all that, which I wouldn't recommend. But I also have a cheap way to kill this boss. This is Odawa. Now, meanwhile, here's how. Here's the cheap way to kill him. Just shoot an arrow at him. Shoot an arrow at him. And just spam spin attacks. Except it didn't work right. Didn't quite work right there. He is vulnerable to spin attack. Look at this. Look at this. We already killed him. He is very vulnerable to spin attacks, and that's a very easy way to take him out. And we get our first heart container. And we get Odawa's remains, so I will sign off this commentary right here and let the cutscene play out so I can see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.